welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to this webinar on the Durst and 4P's uh, partnership. Um, I have uh, with me today um, a couple of people. Um, first of all, Michael De Florian, who is business unit manager, uh, software solutions, uh, software and solutions at Durst. Um, we've got uh, Serge Klaus, product manager uh, uh, at uh, software and solutions at Durst. And then uh, myself, Tom Perez, CEO at uh, 4Ps. Um, and uh, I'll actually hand over the presentation immediately to uh, uh, Michael. Uh, yeah. Michael, normally the floor should be yours. Thank you, Tom. Uh, welcome also from my side. It's a pleasure to be here at the Four Peace Cafe and sitting virtually at least in the same room with you. Uh, yeah, I would like to start uh, to introduce uh, Dostas company. Just a, a few slides before we then uh, hand over to Serge that he will present uh, our software product and what's the what's the, the the core element of our corporation. Let's say. Um, right. A yeah, short, uh, brief uh, overview about the history of those. So basically, those started um, before the First World War. It was founded by two brothers, Julius and Gilbert Dost, and uh, started with uh, with uh, enlargers. Then in the fifties, also started with a photo camera. The uh, was uh, the Automatica. Then, uh, as you can see, after ten years, it started already to reinvent itself. In the nineteens, then. 2018, it was uh, started on uh, the transformation from a print manufacturer to a print solution provider, and we step into software. So that's the reason why we are here. So, uh, Tom, you have to grant me the control again. And now we are offering uh, digital production platforms for the internet industry. Core component, of course, is our internet printers. Uh, but everything you need for a print solution like software, inks, printers, all the training and the service that we have around uh, the, the uh, inkjet printing. And the two main segments uh, that are relevant here is uh, large format printers, as you can see in the picture here in the stadium. Large format for those means really large. Uh, and uh, also for label and flexible, flexible packaging and with our tower rsc platform and uh, that are the both main segments we are focusing with our software solution on at the moment and that's also where we have the cooperation before peace so the new strategy basically is to provide 360 degree business solution for digital printing and uh, the the uh, strategies from pixel to output meaning that that we want to serve or provide a solution from uh, the point where the data comes from so the pixel to the output, so the printed file or the final print product. What does that mean? We are offering a, a, a software ecosystem that's uh, open at one side, meaning that uh, you can connect it uh, to, to your um, IT infrastructure, to other software solutions, to every printer, not only those printers. And it's also complete, meaning that we are covering from a uh, web to print where you uh, are getting the order to uh, pre-press and production where the data flows to the press, ERP systems and uh, data um, and analytics systems. The goal is always the same that uh, what uh, we are also following with our printers, highest quality, highest productivity, highest performance, meaning that we are ensuring quality at the beginning and we are feeding the press in the most efficient way. And also we want to have uh, to help our customers to have the production in the most efficient way. Here, if we stick one uh, uh, level deeper, let's say, at the heart in the middle, you can see, of course, uh, the, the press room with the printer, where those is investing a lot for production automation, but also we are looking how you can uh, streamline new process from order intake to shipment and to feed the, the press in the most automated and most efficient way and to ensure a smooth production flow from order intake to shipment. Further, we are also considering the interface of the print shop to the outer world, so to the customers of a print shop, how there the best interaction is, how they can uh, provide the best service to their customers. 
And if you do that all, of course, then you're also gathering a lot of data. And to analyze that, you also put the, the uh, tools at hand so that you can get the maximum information out of uh, your production. Great, thank you, uh, Michael. Um, uh, on to a short presentation uh, uh, on 4Ps. For those who don't know us, 4Ps is an uh, international distributor and uh, integrator of software solutions, um, specifically uh, for the print industry. Typically, we help print operations succeed by implementing hassle-free uh, automation. That is at least uh, the, uh, the focus of, uh, of what we do. Um, uh, who we are, we're based in, uh, in Ghent, we're privately funded, we're currently uh, a team of, uh, uh, of actually over 12 people uh, at this moment. We have a network uh, of, uh, of partners uh, internationally, um, and uh, as I said, uh, we deal with customers uh, either directly or indirectly, uh, depending on uh, the, the, geo the geography or the specific uh, market that uh, uh, that we're uh, uh, that we're looking at, um, we have internal integration uh, experts uh, yeah, and an in-house customer service. Um, so, what is it then that we do? The kind of solutions uh, that we implement uh, at customers are web to print solutions, uh, your job onboarding, packaging creation, approval flows pre-press automation, production dashboard, color management uh, uh, solutions, media optimization and proofreading uh, are some of uh, uh, the typical solutions that we implement. Uh, they can be a part of uh, an existing workflow or they can be completely turnkey uh, uh, workflows that we, uh, that we implement at customers. Um, our direct uh, uh, geographic focus uh, um, is, uh, uh, is also the focus of the partnership with Durst. Uh, and so uh, that will be in the UK and Ireland, in France and uh, the Benelux. If you look at um, the, the focus of the co collaboration, where will we um, uh, intervene uh, in this partnership? Uh, there's basically two accesses. Uh, the first one is on product sales, where 4Ps will sell uh, the Durst software products, uh, Durst Smart Shop, Durst Workflow, uh, Durst Lift ERP. Uh, the focus initially will be where uh, we have the most experience on Durst Workflow and Durst uh, Smart Shop. And in a later stage, uh, we will uh, look at uh, Durst uh, ERP. Uh, at the same time, we will be assisting uh, the, the local uh, Durst sales organizations uh, with pre-sales, with installation, with integration, uh, and with training. So basically, uh, we will serve them as a, a, a outsourced uh, software assistance uh, throughout uh, the sales cycle from pre-sales pre uh, to actually uh, getting happy customers at the end. Serge, I believe it is on to you. Yeah, uh, let me just get the control. Okay, should be good. So welcome from my side to everyone as well. So today, the uh, my plan at least is to give you a quick overview on uh, how our software solutions are allowing our, our customers to seamlessly manage their, their job orders. And before that, uh, I just want to give you, give you a quick overview on our uh, software offer, which consists of four major solutions. We have top left the e-commerce solution with the smart shop. We also have the pre-press and production automation solution with uh, the workflow. We have an ERP solution with the Swift ERP, and finally the production reporting with Durst Analytics. You've seen that with uh, Michael already, but it's important to position our, our software offer. All these solutions are perfectly integrated together and it can be seen as a, as a complete solution as a whole. This is what we call internally the Durst Smart Factory concept. But obviously these are independent solutions as well. 
So they can be integrated into existing environments to enhance the uh, current processes of the customers. So it's also important to mention that except for analytics, uh, you don't need to have a Durst printer to use our solutions. So today our main focus will be Durst Smart Shop and Durst Workflow, and they can be used totally independently from, from, uh, from the Durst printers environments. Let me, yeah. So Smart Shop is an advanced e-commerce solution. You may have heard about it. It's dedicated to the printing industry. It allows advanced product configuration and design. This is uh, very important. It's dedicated to almost any printing industry. And Smart Shop is available with different flavors. So from an out of the box application to a project based solution. Um, I also want to mention here that we provide the editor separately to online this, this online design tool that we have. So it's a separate plugin that you can get uh, for, and you can implement it for existing e-commerce solutions like Magento, Shopify, Shopware. So this allows basically your customers to customize online their print products based on their existing solution. Um, talking about workflow, so that's our pre-press and production automation solution. It helps the user to automate most of their pre-press tasks. So unlike the other automation solution, I would say that the big difference here is that this workflow has a dashboard that displays the status of your all your orders and your jobs in real time. So it's not just a workflow where you design a certain process, you can real time, in real time, track and see all your jobs and job orders on that dash dashboard. This means also that you can permanently uh, see where your job is located in the production process. And that's quite important uh, when you wanna track your, your, uh, your jobs. Um, to get a better overview on what, what is Durst workflow, I listed uh, on this slide here a few of the main tasks our solution is able to handle. So as you can notice, it offers almost all the tools that you may need to secure a performance production. Um, so we do file checking, data correction, viable data, online editing of viable data, nesting tiling, et cetera, et cetera. So we will see that a bit later on how some of those tools are integrated uh in the pre-press process again i want to mention that you don't need to have a dust printer to be able to use Durst workflow that's that's critical and very important to me uh maybe just a few words about uh, the technologies we're using uh to uh, we we actually decided to rely on uh technologies that are recognized as best standards in the industry it's a way for us to, to offer our customers uh, optimal results, uh, which is very important, of course, and not to mention that those, are, those solutions are pretty well known from uh, 4Ps as well. Um, so for this presentation, I decided to, uh, to, that the best way to show you the added value of the integration is to, to give you an example and to see how this could work in, uh, in, in your environment, basically. So at the bottom of this page, I sketched the process that we will go through to produce a job order. So as you can see here, uh, it starts with a smart shop. And uh, basically, smart shop will allow you to select a certain product and a solution uh, so you can get your product, you will be able to precisely configure that product and at least the way you want to get it. And then you will be able to design online with a very user-friendly interface. Uh, you will see some tools on the left-hand side. Uh, to, you will be able to design this, uh, this, this product the way you want to get it. You can even check and analyze the image quality directly online once it's uploaded onto, onto your products. And finally, you will be able to place your order 
to generate a PDF file. So once this is done, uh, what happens here, you can see that the bottom, basically uh, the, the job order is split into two parts. Um, one part is lift ERP. So the lift ERP is taking over the job and is automatically creating um, the job order uh, is going to check the stock, it's going to check the planning, and it keeps track of all the status changes in the process, which means that every time there is a change, whatever the change may, might be, quantities or whatever, uh, uh, Lyft is able to track that and to highlight the different changes. So basically what you have to understand is that SmartShop is pushing the orders to Lyft there's no need to retype any order information in Lyft. So once this is done in parallel, Thirst workflow will take over all the pre-press tasks. Uh, basically it will pre-flight the data to check if there is any inconsistency in the file. So meaning colors, fonts, whatever it might be. Here in our example, we're talking about fonts. So it's highlighting the fonts. And it can eventually even correct those uh, little or major errors according to, to the type of mistake or error it can be. Uh, so when when this is done, when this is done, the solution will even then allow the user to add some options uh, on on the product. So it could also have been done in SmartShop, but here in this example, we we we're going to put some grommets. You know, yeah, so we can add some bleed, we can add some cut marks. Uh, this is all done without any manual intervention. So this is all done automatically according to some specification directly within the Durst workflow system. So that's these are the first steps that uh, Durst workflow is, do uh, is doing. So next step for us uh, could be, oops, I went a little bit too, but anyways, I've added uh, in the previous slide, I've added some some additional information that you can imagine to 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 put on on the file like QR codes for traceability. These are the kind of things we can automatically put on the uh, on the file. Once this is done, uh, we can generate a report and actually this this report uh, can be sent automatically to to the uh, to the to the customer as a proof, uh, it can be done via workflow, as you can see it on the big screen, uh, and also via mobile phone and the Durst Lift ERP. So then, obviously, the customer has two choices: whether it rejects the file and then it generates a new version in workflow, and also the the customer needs to explain the reasons why he's uh, he refused that that file or rejected that file. Uh, but obviously, you can also approve the job, and then we move ahead in the uh, in the process. So, uh, in my introduction, I was talking about the fact that uh, smart uh, what does workflow is also a dashboard. Our solution provides different views actually to help the users to keep constantly track of what is happening uh, during the prepress process. So real-time statuses with previews and deadlines are displayed for every single print item. So you, you can see a list like that, you have different kind of lists with statuses, uh, what we're still expecting from uh, eventually the customer, is it uh, waiting for approval, et cetera, et cetera. And um, as, uh, as Tom Pear would say, uh, automate, automate when possible and interact when needed. I think that's a, that's a good statement. Um, yeah, so color management, then to, to just to move ahead in, in the process, color management is obviously becoming more and more strategic today. So we're helping our customers to reduce their ink construction here uh, while keeping obviously the best quality level. So as a result, you get better margins, of course, less in construction, but also it's, it's much better for the environment. So these are the things you can automatically do in workflow as well. And depending on the size of the item, uh, you may want to tile your file into different parts, like, like you can see it in, in this example. 
and the rest workflow will obviously do it accordingly to your production parameters. Uh, next one is also, yeah, that's another example. Obviously, it's not the same job. Uh, depending on your jobs, you may want to nest your files. And here, uh, our smart and automatic nesting module will definitely be an added value uh, for, for your customers as well. It allows you to actually filter your job orders by media and uh, and then put them uh, push them into a, into a single or multiple nests to save a maximum of, of material, of course. Uh, so yeah, your file is finally going to be ripped by Durst workflow and sent automatically to the printer. At any stage of the production, as you can see, uh, as you can see it here, uh, the system, at least Lyft ERP, is allowing you to track every single uh, operation that happens at the production. So this means that your, your operators can have mobile devices and can report timings, uh, events, or what, what, whatsoever may happen uh, during, during the production process. So this can be directly done via mobile phones or, or tablets and reported in Lyft. So this report will be sent back in real time and we'll update job status, the job status on, on the overall uh, uh, dashboard of, of Lyft, I would say. So of course, Lyft will also be able to generate uh, all the uh, shipping labels, the delivery notes, the invoices, uh, very important by the way. Uh, so these are the kind of things uh, we can do with our solutions. Of course, here I was talking about Lyft, uh, it may be, as I said, uh, maybe the, the concept is not to have only uh, Durst solutions in the, uh, in the environment, but uh, it could be connected to a, to a different ERP solution. If your customer already has an ERP solution, we can obviously connect either SmartShop or, Smart or Workflow to an existing environment and do exactly the si same kind of interaction. So that's it on my side. I think uh, it's time for me to hand over to uh, to Tom. And uh, thank you for your attention. Great, thank you, Serge, um, and thank you for giving us at least a, um, a glimpse at uh, the software solutions from uh, Durst. Uh, we believe that uh, at Four Ps, at least, and, and I think that that's also where we find found uh, the, the collaboration uh, between uh, Durst and Four Ps is that we have a common belief that uh, the, the product by itself uh, yeah, can be great, uh, but needs more than that. Uh, there's the software, there's the integration in an existing environment, and uh, there is uh, the training. Uh, we also believe that uh, uh, that needs to uh, go, uh, that the implementation, uh, uh, the, the integration needs to happen uh, uh, with, uh, uh, with a project approach. Um, while this is a um, easy to use uh, and uh, relatively easy to implement uh, product uh, or product suite, uh, certainly when we specifically look at, uh, uh, at, at workflow, um, we believe that the, the project uh, approach defining what are the requirements at the customer um, and, and formalizing those requirements is, uh, is important uh, before actually uh, going over to the implementation. It's not just something that you hit the install button uh, and then get going with. Um, so the analysis of what is the problem, uh, a specification, a written specification on how do we solve that, with which tools, then do the testing, then uh, uh, go live, um, and then uh, provide training and hand over to the customer to then evaluate and potentially make it better and start uh, uh, again from uh, the beginning with an analysis on how to potentially improve an existing implementation. Uh, that's an approach that, uh, that we uh, firmly believe in uh, at 4Ps uh, and that we will also um, um, either apply uh, to um, the, um, the, the customers that will be in contact with directly um, or where we will assist uh, the Durst local organization 
uh, uh, to, to help them uh, implement that uh, at their uh, customers. So uh, that's, uh, I believe, wraps up um, the, uh, this first session uh, on uh, the, uh, the, the software solutions. Um, our goal uh, is at the later stage uh, to go a little bit more in depth technically and to be able to show you uh, maybe live some of uh, the, the specific uh, feature or feature groups um, that uh, these different software solutions have to offer. Uh, these uh, yeah, webinars are not scheduled yet, but obviously we will keep you uh, yeah, informed on those. Meanwhile, um, I uh, wanted to check if uh, there are any questions. I, uh, I believe now would be a good moment uh, to uh, put them in the chat, I believe. Looks like we were just clear enough. Uh, Crystal apparently, clear. <laughs> <laughs> apparently we were. Um, okay, very well. So um, should you uh, be, um, uh, should you have questions uh, yeah, that you want to address to us uh, directly, feel free to, to get in touch. Uh, I believe that you know how to find us through the regular channels. Uh, so feel free to get in touch if, uh, if there are uh, any, any more direct questions that you want to ask, we would be happy to answer them. Uh, that leaves me uh, with uh, uh, thanking, of course, uh, first and foremost, the audience. Uh, and then, of course, also uh, the speakers, Michael and Serge. Uh, thank you very, very much for your contribution to this Four Peace Cafe. And we hope to see you soon uh, uh, in uh, another cafe uh, uh, in, the in the short future. Definitely. Thank you, Tom. Thanks. Thank you. It was a pleasure.